It's not every day when you hear a mangaka quit his manga to stay alive. You wonder what a piece of fiction can do to a writer who is using his imagination to write. But when you read everything that has happened to the mangaka before he was forced to quit the manga, you might understand why he had to stop writing this manga. A horror manga called as PTSD Radio by mangaka Masaki Nakayama has recently got an attention from many manga readers. The manga is a horror anthology series with each chapter and volume going back and forth between stories. PTSD Radio isn't just scary for its visuals, but also its subject matter and the author's inspiration to write it. However, most people fail to see the meta narrative that author himself inserted into the story. It's safe to say that this kind of manga is not for the faint of heart. Much like any Junji Ito manga, this has some excellent horror material. The volume hypnosis on Kodansha's website gets creepier with each volume, and Nakayama even quit to keep his sanity intact, according to several sources. Initially reported by Anime Senpai, horror manga artist Masaki Nakayama abruptly stopped publishing their PTSD radio manga in 2018 after some incident occurred to him. While Nakayama made no formal announcements regarding the manga's hiatus, many fans attributed to the fact that this artist nearly lost their life while making it. contracting a mysterious illness that caused the same symptoms experienced by the characters in PTSD Radio but still Nakayama continues to release chapters of his other manga Seeds of Anxiety now what PTSD Radio is about this manga surrounds around the ancient legend of a being known as Ogushi or the god of hair similar to Junji Ito's Uzumaki or Shiver PTSD Radio focuses on the unexpected source of horror which is human hair Unlike the previous works like Seeds of Anxiety, many of the stories intertwine at different points. It's also unique for chapters to have the radio frequencies accompany them. It's akin to a radio signal fading in and out, with some frequencies being revisited in order to pick up where the story left off. Some are in World War II and some in the modern day, all dealing with various horrifying material surrounding a hair god named Ogushi. whose curse ritual was interrupted in World War 2 this is about all the summary that audience can get by looking up on kodansha's website the summaries for each volume even cut out words and seem to be stuttering like a bad radio signal before ending with a catchphrase this is a e r n b b c p t s g radio no tuning necessary and that's not to mention the body horror covered in the manga which have human eyes mouths and skins in places where the radio dials are normally placed the opening page of volume 1 even has the sink facets and knobs that looks like a face crying or bleeding now what kind of real life events that happened in the creator's life mimic the scenes from the manga the strange events surrounding this series actually started at building where nakayama created it They discovered a broken shrine at the rented workplace where Nakayama and his team worked on the series. Shortly afterward, the entire team started noticing strange things about the building, including unexplained scratching noises from the ceiling, lights switching off and on, and the appearance of a strange shadow throughout the studio. As these events unfolded, some members of Nakayama's team even fell ill. But things came to a head after Nakayama suddenly developed a rare autoimmune disease called as idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura in short ITP which causes the immune system to destroy blood clotting platelets triggering heavy bleeding while detailing his experience in his manga Nakayama described his manifestations of the disease as black glenetious blood blistering all over his lips tongues and gums that wouldn't stop bleeding Hematomas or clotted blood spots also appeared on the artist's body. After describing his symptoms to his doctor, the physician urged Nakayama to go to the hospital, stressing that his life was in immediate danger. Strangely, PTSD Radio depicted a similar scenario to Nakayama's bleeding mouth. This scene shows a character vomiting blood from which demons promptly emerge. But soon after diagnosing the previous disease, the mangaka developed a new disease. One side of his face swelled up like a balloon and his body temperature dropped which Masaki also mentioned in his manga. After this, he decided to put down his pen and since then we have heard nothing from the mangaka about continuation of this manga. Until anyone hears anything from Nakayama, PTSD Radio ends with the extra creepy bit of mysterious ghostly voice breaking the fourth wall in a jump scare to not talk about the story. It does well to let sleeping dogs lie sometimes after all. especially if someone starts hallucinating 
After all, when one gets so paranoid that they start hearing voices or seeing shadows where none exist, that's a pretty good indicator to stop whatever you are doing. What if all the hallucinations were not hallucinations at all? What if it was all real? What do you think about it? Was it real or not? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below and make sure to check out some list of horror anime and mangas over here if you are looking to get haunted by some spirits too. So that was it guys and I will see you in the next one. Sayonara.